Hey. Hi, Carrie. Good morning. <laughs> nice t-shirt. I know. <laughs> good morning, Spectrum community. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. <laughs> okay. So we sort of planned it, but sort of didn't. I woke up and I put this one on and then I was like, oh no, I bet Keisha's going to wear hers. So I took mine off. <laughs> and then we got on the phone and we said, hey, let's let's make sure we wear them. <laughs> so, <laughs> so intentionally unintentional. Yes. And definitely in support of BAME and Atlanta Fluence is everything because we are, you know, everything that people have been going through in 2020, it has caused us to shift and be nimble, but we will be back. Spectrum will be back in Atlanta next year. We know that we're going to say it. We're going to claim it that we are 2021. We will be back and we want to see all of your faces there in the room with us. So thank you for joining us virtually, but we look forward to hugging you and shaking your hands in Atlanta next year. Yes, I'm big in the hugs. Um, well, and I think the other piece too, again, just to echo, thank you for um, bringing us into your homes and you know, I know the juggle is real. Um, <laughs> and I, I just know that during this time, it's just so important to be able to kind of just go with what is rolling. And I think Keisha, you've got a, you've got a, a new addition to, to your household, don't you? I do, my new coworker. What? Everyone, this is this is Barkley. He's an eleven week old poodle, and you, I'm so glad you all didn't hear him barking or anything. <laughs> so he was well behaved. So kudos to Barkley. Way to go, Barkley! Puppy power, the cutest coworker um, on the planet, as far as I'm concerned. Um, so Keisha, uh, I have a similar question that I did yesterday. Um, what's what is live for you since since we? got off yesterday. I've got mine for sure, but I'm really curious to hear what, what you have for today. So yesterday was all about in, um, inclusion and it was some of the most powerful conversations. I mean, Erica, Alexander and everything that she said and claimed. And then um, I had such a great conversation in the Capital Allocators um, breakout session. It was dynamic. But what was a through line for me and what continues to be a through line? Um, our fantastic Nadia and kudos to Nadia who's been holding it. Nadia. <laughs> um, last year, we could not do this without her. Um, but she said it last year is spin down your power. And I have that has been a North Star for me. Every time someone calls me and asks me what they can do. I was like, you wake up every single day with a full tank of privilege and power. How can you spin that down? And so we said that all throughout our um, sessions the other day. How do you be it? And power looks different in different places. It can be capital. It can be access. It can be resources. So how do you provide, spin that down and give it to someone else and open up other doors and sometimes say, you know what, not me. Someone else deserves this opportunity. There will be other opportunities for those who are powered, who are extremely privileged. Sometimes we need to just let people in the door because once they get in the door, they are going to knock they are going to excel and exceed. So I fundamentally believe in spending down your power. I tell people that all the time. Look for other opportunities to share this because I believe for this change to happen, Carrie, there has to be a dramatic power shift, not just individually, yeah. but capital has to be distributed and allocated differently. We cannot keep up with the way that we that the world is going right now. This unbalance is not going to happen. It can't be the so the the biggest majority of people have the little, the smallest amount of capital. So I fundamentally believe power shift is what's going to change this. And um, one of the biggest issues for me is racial is the racial wealth gap. And we have to change that. We have to shift it. And I'm here for it. What about you? What was what was on your? Well, so mine mine is is it absolutely coincides with that. I mean, it dovetails. I and for me, this showed up in numerous ways throughout the content, but very much in um, the conversation that I led and had the privilege to be in um, in the Entrepreneur Showcase. And it is this notion of just fund them. Um, mm -hmm. And it's just like, we have got to move so much more capital to um, founders of color and businesses of color um, because it's only when we do that that we will start to see this shift that we've been talking about over the last couple of days. And it takes, and it, what it takes is 
truly just moving that capital and figuring out. And I know that just move that capital is, you know, not the the easiest thing, but we do have to figure out how to do that because it also is that easy yeah. um, to make sure that we have this sustained change. I agree. And, you know, but it's not that hard. I used to be a funder. Exactly. You, you can deploy capital. We can deploy capital. All of us can. can All of us can. Exactly. So do I agree with you. you just fund them. That's a hashtag. Somebody put that in there. Somebody get that going. That hashtag. And you know what? In the chat group, please tell us what resonated with you yes, yesterday. Um, what, what, what were some of the conversations and what, what you love the most about the inclusion conversation. So put that in the chat. Let's get these conversations going already. Um, we're in day three, so stick with us and we're going to power through. This is impact. And so we're going to spend a day talking about impact and what impact looks like, because one of the things that we're so, um, what is our North star and what we are determined to do with spectrum is to drive change, to have action, to where we started on day one is not where we end, it's better. And that's what impact means for me. It really means that the way that the way that I started the problem, the way that we addressed it, the way that I look, where it looks today, that if I fast forward, if we put work together, if we put the right people in the ecosystem, if we put the right minds together, that it's going to look different. We are going to have an impact. We are going to drive change. We are gonna make it better for someone, some company, some organization, some community, we are going to do our best. And so that is what impact means to me. Um, Carrie, what does impact mean for you? Yeah, I mean, for me, I, impact is action. So, you know, we, we started with this and, you know, I definitely want to end with it too, but absolutely impact means taking action. Every single one of us can take action, whether it's individually, organizationally, within our communities and within the ecosystem mm -hmm. and all of us pushing in different ways that also creates the pressure on the ecosystem to change. Um, and we have tremendous power um, when we all act together. Um, so yeah, act, right. action. Well, let's do that. Should we turn this over to Nadia? <laughs> yes, let's go Nadia. Thanks everyone. Thank you. Bye. Good morning, good morning.